We are going out with Scales and Tails today, and it's really important to me because I'm coming back home to New Jersey. I uh, grew up on the Atlantic Ocean here, worked on the Miss Belmar when I was 12 to 16 years old. So I am absolutely excited. Been talking with Irwin here for the past five months, him and his son Irwin, seem like great guys. We're gonna put the pressure on him and bring us a nice big striper today. Fish on, baby! About to rock these stripers today, boys. <laughs> I love it, man. Fish on, Jackson! <laughs> You're watching Real Monsters, the pursuit for record fish. Boys are catching a bunch of bait for us right now. We try to turn them little fish into big fish. That's the plan. Most of my clients, crew, are one form or another, there's some type of hunter. Small game, bow hunter, big game, you know, the, the, the uh, mule deer, elk, whatever. But it's the thrill of hunting these fish as well that really turns everybody on to it. Sometimes it's really easy, other times it's, uh, you know, you really have to hit spot after spot after spot until you find the right, the right spot where the fish are gonna chew. What we're doing is, is we got free swimming bunker. No weight, no nothing, and we're kinda, Circle in the boat as the bunker goes around, just letting them swim. Right behind us, we got big school of bunker busting up in these waves that the boat just created. They're all getting pushed to the top. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, man. All right, we got one on up back here, boys. All right, we got one locked up right now. Erwin's doing the same thing I'm doing. Saw bass popping. Yeah, go ahead, Erwin. <laughs> go ahead, Erwin. How we doing with the fish on, baby? Wham. Erwin's locked up right now. Not the pin yet, but you never know. It still could be a real monster. You could see the, uh, the size of the school. It's almost like a diamond. So these fish are swimming into the wind and they have, the bass are on the upside of them, letting them swim to them, instead of being chased back. Nice, Kuiper, not bad. 25, 30. Good. Yeah! Ha ha! That's our striped bass. Ate the bunker on a snag hook. That's what you do out in the ocean, man. You chase the school of bait, you find the bait, you find your fish. Our season normally starts in the beginning of April runs through the end of June, July 4th for the migration. Every year there's numerous fish over 50 pounds caught. All right, as you can see, that was just a 20, in mid 20s, pound fish. Can you imagine an 80 pound fish? 61 more pounds added to that fish, say he's 20. That's what we're looking for. 81.14 is what we want to be. I don't care if it's 81.14 and a quarter. Our mate today is actually uh, Irwin Jr. He's um, you know, the, the son of our luxurious captain over here today. They asked me to drop it down about 15 feet, try and get under the fish, get to the stripers a little more. We did that, and we're gonna just see what it'll do. It's had another hit on, on the dead bait. This is absolutely phenomenal. It's exactly what you look for when you're coming for these stripers. As you can see out on the horizon, we got bait almost just about as far as you can see. You can see them pop in the top. This is what we want. This is what's gonna hold them. Here's a bait that was, we didn't catch them on, but you see how they striped bass took yeah, all the took scales? scales right off. No cuts, they just scale it. That's because they don't have any teeth. They're just like a large mouth, right? Yep. Inside their mouth. Exactly. Now we ain't got one on the pin yet, but even the cameraman just got one. We just kind of had it pull out there drifting as we drift along and wham, the only one up there was Mikey. They'll give him a little taste once in a while. Get him, Michael. Oh, farmed it. All right, this captain and his son here off Scales and Tails are really working their butts off. Uh, he's got like five, six, seven rods out, covering all the water column. There's not as many fish as there has been, and he was very honest on telling us this morning that it might be a little tougher. We have had probably three on, probably four or five bites and landed one, and we've been out here about an hour. So, you know, very satisfied. The guys are doing an excellent job for us, and uh, I believe that 
Irwin wants to uh, put his name next to the first boat to ever take somebody out with a center pin and knock down a striper as bad as I do. So it's a good combination for recipe for success. And I'm sure we're going to be successful somewhere along the line here with the pin. So you'll know when it comes. I'm going to give you a fish on, baby. We're catching a spray on the water. What that is, is the, the fish are actually coming up to feed on the bait fish and they're, they're, they're splitting up. Um, and when they do that, they make probably about a 20, 30 foot round circle and it goes Shh. They're all trying to get away and of course the weak one's gonna get his butt kicked, but they're still here. This, the bite's a little slow right now. I don't think there's a ton according to the captain, but enough to keep us busy. So we're just gonna keep plugging away. That's why they call it fishing. Nothing. Captain breaking his butt to get us on something. And finally, sitting here lazadaisical, wham! I don't know what it is. We're thinking it's a bluefish. Decided to switch over to some bluefish. And this is the first bluefish ever in the world on a center pin. Once again, folks, there's no drag system on this. So this is just me and the way my hand sits on there. It makes it a little tougher, actually a lot tougher than a conventional reel. Not only but to add to, is when you crank it in, I don't have no ratio with the reel. What you see is what it reels. We're not using wire leader, which is traditional for these fish. We're using 50 pound test, so if we don't get him in the corner of the mouth, chances are he's gonna break us off, but he took two good runs. I don't think he's gonna break us off. I'm pretty sure we got a good hook on him here. He is just holding there. Woo, it's the forearm shiver, baby, the forearm shiver. The mate's gonna try to sink the gaff on him. We at least get this fish in the boat. We got a blue fish, baby, a good sized blue fish. This is why I take this center pin everywhere. It's such a challenge, man. You against the fish, no conventional help. You can't beat it. As far as the blue fish goes, this may be a real monster. I believe Cap said the, the record's 27 pounds, Cap? 27 pounds, state of New Jersey. 27 pounds in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> Yeah! We got him, Luna! Calf, we got something, man! Woo! All right, this is the first bluefish ever. Caught on a center pin system. He's probably 13 pounds, 12, 13 pounds. Uh, fought like I'll be damned. And that's the only way I can put it. My forearm's blown up. I want to thank these boys. They didn't give up. This wasn't our target species today. But once again, it's a record. We are gonna come back. It got hot, weather's turning on us a little bit, thunderstorms, the current with the wind out there, it's probably in our best interest to come back. Uh, we're gonna do that. Captain here in the sun are willing to do that for us. So we're not done yet. We got the blue on film. We're gonna come back and we're gonna whoop on them with the pin a little bit and set more records. And hopefully it'll be over 81.14 ounces. <laughs> then we'll really be superstars, but this is what it's all about. And this is supposedly not even a big one. So. Stick around for the next piece of this. We're gonna get the big one.